We have prisons now filled with guys my age, 60-year-old white men in prison who've never harmed anybody, would never touch a child, but they got on line one night, started surfing around, probably had too much to drink or whatever, and pushed the wrong buttons and went too far and got into child porn or whatever. It happened to a friend, of, a lawyer friend of mine, a good buddy from law school. And again, they haven't hurt anybody, okay? Um, they deserve some type of, you know, punishment, whatever. But 10 years in prison, you know, and there's so many of them now. Some, there's so many uh, sex offenders, is what they're called, that they put them in the, the, the same prison, like they're a bunch of, you know, perverts or something. Thousands of them. And, you know, and we've, we've gone nuts with this incarceration. I have no sympathy for a real pedophile. You know, God, you know, please lock those people up. Uh, but so many of these guys are, are not, do not deserve harsh prison sentences. And that's what they get. A friend of mine, this was 10 years ago, uh, was drinking. His drinking was out of control. And he went to a website, and it was, it was labeled 16-year-old, uh, you know, hooker, wannabe hookers or something. You know, some stupid website. And it said 16-year-old girls. So he went there, downloaded some stuff. It, it wasn't, it was 16-year-old girls who looked 30. You know, they all dressed up and whatever, and he was, whatever. He shouldn't have done it. It was stupid. But it wasn't 10-year-old boys, you know, and he didn't, he didn't touch anything. And golly, a week later, there was a knock on the door, FBI, and it was a steam set up by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police to catch people, sex offenders. And um, he went to prison for three years.